okay so today uh, i am going to discuss the last concept of pn junction most of the time people will get confused what is jenner breakdown or what is avalanche breakdown so there are so basic concept or very minute concept which you must remember so both this first of all listen carefully whether it is an avalanche breakdown or whether it is a jenner breakdown both this breakdown will occur when your pn junction is reverse biased when your pn junction is reverse biased clear now tell me i have already told you this avalanche breakdown will not occur at very small voltage this breakdown will occur very high voltage for example 15 volt or we can say that more than 15 volt or 20 volt at sufficiently very high voltage what happen the electrons gains energy or gain energy and this electron will collide with one covalent bond and this will generate another two electron further these two electron again gain energy from the applied voltage or very large voltage again they will generate two electron and this will again generate these two electron and this process is called avalanche process and this process will occur at very high voltages so this avalanche breakdown will occur in reverse bias pn junction only when the applied voltage is very very high because to gain energy sufficiently high to break the covalent bond we need very high voltages so this will be for example one electron this will have two electron and this have four electron and so on so that means one electron two electron and four electron and then eight electron and this process is called avalanche process remember that people will ask you please do you know what is avalanche process yes this is called avalanche process where because of this avalanche process inside the pn junction under reverse bias condition at very high voltage that is why what is known as avalanche breakdown and because of this breakdown when we draw the iv curve we got this type of curve and really when small voltage small voltage at very high voltage the current will start and this is called avalanche breakdown voltage so at very high voltage because of this avalanche process is occurring and because of that the current is start increasing why negative current i have already shown in the previous video but the only thing is that this is the avalanche breakdown basically occurs at very high voltage now people will ask you what exactly are different in the jenner breakdown and what is going on in the jenner breakdown please tell me that so now first of all remember that jenner breakdown will occur only when this p and n region will be reverse bias correct similar reverse bias reverse bias now this jenner breakdown will occur to have jenner breakdown you have to increase the doping of the p region and n region that means large number of atom will be doped in this one and in this one in this case ordinary doping that means less number of holes less number of electron possible but if you want jenner breakdown to happen you have to increase the hole concentration or you have to have very large hole concentration at this reason and we have very large number of electron 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 in this reason that means this is highly doped and this is also highly doped you must have large number of electron you have must have large number of holes in this region and because of this what will happen sir if we have large number of hole concentration here electron concentration here that means if here so many people are increasing here also so many people are increasing but the area is still constant what will happen they will try to move in this reason so there is a possibility that this electron these holes and this electron get involved in a deal because so many pressure is here so there is a possibility they will move here in this side because large concentration large concentration and they will try to move into this reason and because of this what happened this internal electric field is basically increased 
this internal electric field is increased why i have told you for example if there are four people here and there are four people here and there are two people here and the two people are here these two people are two people are involved in a deal they will make a deal rest of the four people are not allowed but if there are millions of people and here also millions of people they will force this junction to move there and that will happen if you increase the doping here doping here there will be large number of deals near the junction and because of this large number of electric field or huge amount of electric field will develop so that means when we dope the in reason highly when we dope the end reason highly there is a large amount of electric field will be introduced where at the junction i called it e large now there is huge amount of electric field is developed okay now sir what will happen now we want to see the iv characteristics i and v in this case also reverse bias earlier the current will suppose this voltage is zero the current is zero now this voltage is one so this will be there now as soon as soon we go to three to five volt or six volt because of this five volt and there is an still very large electric field already there at relatively five volt of voltage applied there is a sudden increase in the current and this big reason is called or this voltage is called breakdown or we can say that vz jenner breakdown voltage at very at some voltage there are amount there is a large amount of current start flowing why this happens from where this electric charge is coming that means at the junction remember that that means that at the junction there must be possibility that large number of electron must flow and this is possible because there is still have a large electric field but due to applied volt also in this depletion reason all the covalent bond which are present they get broken at sufficiently very small voltage only and because of the breaking of covalent bond what will happen at the junction this is having negative this is negative this is negative this is positive this is positive this is positive but there are so many covalent bond also available and there are electric field is very very high because of this electric field there is a sudden breakdown of all the covalent bond if sudden breakdown of covalent bond will occur so that means large number of electron will be generated here similarly large number of holes will be generated here similarly here large number of electrons large number of holes but the electron will move in this direction and the hole will start moving in this direction and this will create a charge at the junction and because of this movement of large number of charge carrier at the junction will create a current and that is why this type of curve will obtain and this is called jenner breakdown jenner breakdown will occur due to sudden rupturing of covalent bond where those covalent bonds are those covalent bonds are in the depletion region so depletion reason all the covalent bonds are getting broken and this is called sudden rupturing r u p t u r i n g rupturing sudden rupturing of covalent bond and because of the sudden rupturing of covalent bond because of large electric field at low voltage not very greater not very much as compared to this where is at very small voltage only the breakdown is occurring and this breakdown is called jenner breakdown at the jenner breakdown sudden at the jenner voltage sudden rupturing of covalent bond take place due to high electric field where those sudden rupturing happens in the mp region or n region sir in the 
depletion region and in the depletion region if the charge covalent bond is getting broken so what will be the movement of the charge carrier this is the movement of the charge carrier because of this movement what is the direction of the current direction of the current is this one we have assumed the forward current positive now this is in this direction so this is reverse see this is reverse and huge amount of current will flow after the huge amount of current flow see the voltages are not getting changed voltage is fixed but the current is increasing sharply and there is an application of this curve the application of this curve application of this is curve is basically this type of diode under reverse bias operation having jenner breakdown is basically used in voltage regulators for example in fan regulators for fan if you want to control the fan speed what exactly is controlling the speed the current but voltage remains constant see the voltage is constant but the current is changing see so current is increasing but the voltage is constant and this phenomena of your jenner breakdown or jenner diode is used as a voltage regulator circuit in voltage regulator circuit we are keeping voltage constant but we have the capability to change the current and while doing so we can control the speed of the of fan so this is the diagram of jenner breakdown this is the avalanche breakdown once i am again i am going i am repeating it jenner breakdown and avalanche breakdown take place in reverse bias no problem avalanche breakdown take place in the ordinary diode only where the do normal doping is there and very high voltage but if you want a general breakdown to occur you have to dope this reason highly you have to rope this reason highly when you do this what will happen the electric field in the junction will basically high as soon as you apply very small voltage also if you apply some very small voltage also then also there is a sudden rupturing of covalent bond take place because of sudden rupturing of covalent bond large amount of electrons and whole spheres are generated in the junction at the junction region and there will be movement at the junction and because of this large large amount of current is start flowing and see the current and this current is also a negative we have already seen why negative so now this is basically a jenner breakdown and avalanche breakdown this is jenner diode and this is and this is jenner diode and this is avalanche diode jenner diode is basically based on the jenner breakdown mechanism avalanche diode is basically based on the avalanche mechanism okay very beautiful application of jenner browdy jenner breakdown is in the voltage control regulator circuit yeah voltage regulator circuit clear there are so many applications of jenner avalanche breakdown also but right now uh, i don't i'm not getting into that so but this is the yes so now if anyone ask you to draw the ib characteristics or the to explain the working of jenner breakdown or avalanche breakdown you can explain like this you must know each and everything clearly which breakdown which covalent bonds are getting broken here anywhere here which covalent bonds are getting ruptured covalent in the depletion region because where the electric field is very high electric fields are high here in this region only okay so that is why the sudden rupturing of covalent bond take place but here not sudden rupturing one by one covalent bond are getting broken because the speed because the electrons are getting spike again and again and this process is taking place and this process is nothing but the avalanche mechanism or avalanche process